Hello, collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. Ooh, that one wanted to come out. Um, I am here to do um, a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest, don't try to force it, okay? And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, all the love. I love you guys right back. Um, this, you guys here... This is my family, really. You're my family, my friends, my peeps. I mean, on this journey, come on. Uh, we've let we've cut ties with pretty much everything and everybody. So, like, you know, you're what I've got, okay? And I'm so grateful for all of you. I really am. Thank you so much for being my peeps. Um, I'm using the Garbage Pail Kids deck tonight, okay? So we're going to see what comes out. Divine, what messages do you have for the collective in love? This one wanted to come out first. The chariot moving forward. You guys are going to be moving forward. Queen of Coins energy. Very stable. Focus, possibly focused on your family. Right? Hello. Right? I love you guys. You know, and I'm focused on you. Um, focused on your abundance. Focused on your uh, maybe your home. I, I kind of get the feeling like um, maybe you're cleaning things out, right? Clearing out clutter, clearing out your closet, um, possibly even just rearranging some things. You know, the other day, I, it was weird because I was about to do a reading for the collective and it came up in the reading as well. And I, I started to oddly walk around my house looking at everything that I had in my home and I'm like, I want to keep that item and that item, but everything else can go. Like for real, you know, pictures, I, I want to change everything, like everything. So um, you may be doing that right now as you move forward. Some of you are packing up. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of going through your belongings for some reason. Um, but yeah, you're moving forward. Some of you could be making a house move. Um, Eight of Swords energy. <clears throat> there's another, there's a masculine energy here. Oh, man. They're, the juggling is making them sick. I'll tell you that right now. They're feeling like an idiot because, uh, yeah, all they can do is watch you. Okay, so what I'm getting here is you're moving forward, okay? You're moving on, whatever it is that you're doing. And I feel like you're focused right now primarily on your home, your family, and your abundance, business, work, everything that you can nurture and grow and, and have control of in your own life. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you're looking good. Your finances are looking great. You've got this drive, determination to go after your happiness. And this is a very happy card here. You could be a Cancer, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with... Um, a Leo Aries Sagittarius here. Aries. Heavy on Aries Pisces. I'm feeling this masculine energy wanting to come towards you. Okay. Um, they could be seeing your abundance. I feel like a panic off of this person too because you're moving forward so fast. Um, determined to have a beautiful life for yourself. And I think that's exactly what you're going to get is a beautiful life. This person, though, they're all trapped up in their head about things. I feel like they may have lied about you um, because I'm seeing this web, right? Or they could have believed lies from other people here. Um, I'm kind of seeing that, too. That got them trapped and stuck here in all of these swords. Okay? They haven't communicated with you. Um... But now they want to come towards you very quickly. It's almost like this person, they make impulsive moves. This is somebody who could be a big risk taker, right? Just kind of come in, do whatever they want, leave sort of in and out energy. But I'm seeing this person wanting to come towards you here. All the juggling is making this person sick. Uh, they could be having some problems with dizziness or throwing up even, okay? 
Um, yeah, it's like their equilibrium is off. They could even have like an inner, I'm seeing an inner, inner ear infection that's making them, it's throwing off their equilibrium. So they're dizzy. Um, they're feeling sick to their stomach. So somebody out here has an ear infection, a bad one, inner ear infection. I'm not a doctor though. So, you know, if you're having any kind of sick symptoms, anything like that, go see a, a healthcare professional, okay? Disclaimer, I'm just a reader, but that's what I'm seeing out here. Um, but yeah, see, they're, they feel like a fool. They're even throwing up here. Feeling like a fool. I, I feel like there's, usually they're getting warnings, but there's a little dog here literally pushing them over a cliff. So I feel like uh, they listened to possibly two other people. They could have been younger than them or even immature, just immature friends, family. They listened to something somebody else said. And I feel like those two people kind of said something about you or this connection and they slipped out, but it's got this person in a trap. It trapped your person, okay? Um, even though this is a good card, it's, it's supposed to be for going to calmer waters, but that's not what I'm seeing here. I'm not, I'm feeling like they listen to others about you. And now it's just put them in a, mind, a mental mind trap. There was a web of lies. Okay. A web of lies spun by maybe a head spider. Okay. Um, so they could have somebody around them now that's still feeding them lies it's getting this person in a mental mind trap or trapped into some place here. They're feeling stuck, but all they can focus on is you. They want you. They're seeing you from a whole new perspective, okay? Yeah. Yeah, three of coins. This person, I feel like they're watching you. And uh, they want to work with you here. They're trying to figure out a way. There's those two people again. I feel like this person allows themselves to be led by other people that don't know what's going on. That's the feeling that I'm getting here. And they led them right into getting themselves stuck in something else. And here you are. You're breaking free from this energy. You're just focused on you building your finances here. Um, yeah, that's really the feeling that I'm getting. They didn't use their intuition. I'm seeing an upside down cross here. There could have been some spell work, toxic energy, not, not paying attention to the signs from the divine. Definitely not using their intuition. Yeah. Nine of wands here. This person, look at that. They got themselves stuck. Um, for some of them, they could have even been led straight to a jail cell. Um, they've been around some very immature energy here. Yeah, they listen to other people. It's like they're, they let other people tell them what to do in their life, and it gets them stuck. It gets them in trouble. They have to carry these burdens. And they keep allowing themselves to listen to these other people. And it's just got this person like, this could be a spiritual jail. They're not learning their lesson. Um, and the reason why I say spiritual jail is because of the lightning bolts here. This person could be suffering some really bad health. Okay? I feel like somebody, there's a masculine out here that needs to see a doctor. Okay? Um... Yeah, whatever they've been led into. Look at this. Yeah, they kept their back turned towards you, but now this person's under judgment. Everything is, it's, everything's blowing up, um, it's including their own thoughts in their head that they're just so stuck in their mind. And this is all they can think about. And I feel like they, they're reaching a point where they're getting ready to blow their top. They've had enough. But they're under judgment because they let other people that don't, like, they're very immature. Other They could even be listening to, like, children or teenagers leading them through this, you know, maze of life, right? It's gotten this person all caught up in something and sick. P bad health is, like, all over this right now. So starting to grow a little bit concerned for their health at this point. Um, 
the magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a, a Virgo, Scorpio here, um, but I feel like they need to, instead of letting other people, these humans that um, are immature, two people here keep feeding this person like, do this, do that. No, you want to go over here. You want to stay where you are. Whatever kind of advice they're giving this person, they listen and it gets them wrapped up in a mess every single time. Every single time. This, is, this could have been going on up to nine years here for this person. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like they need to listen to themselves. They have the ability to manifest new things for themselves. They have the strength and the tools that they need to manifest the, the things that make them happy in life, not everybody else, not listening to what everybody else says. Yeah, because it's, it's bringing things to an end for this person. Opportunities, okay, yeah, it has... It's bringing their wish fulfillment to an end, listening to other people, have other people lead them through their life. Every decision they make, they listen to somebody else that steers them in the wrong direction. And it ends their wish fulfillment like every single time. Every single time or their wish fulfillment is built on a pile of garbage because it's not their wishes. It's they're letting other people kind of tell them what to do. I, I don't know if this person doesn't trust themselves making a decision or what, but it's not getting them anywhere. They need to realize that um, they have the tools, every tool that they need to, including intuition and discernment, to make the right decisions for them. Okay, Four of Cups. Now this person can't stop thinking about you here. Um, after the lies, deceit, betrayal, yeah, the three of swords, all of the, the chitter-chatter, there's those, look, another person in the background feeding them lies. This person could have lied to you, deceived you, put you in a third-party situation. I, I feel like they just listen to the advice of others and it's led to heartache, betrayal, pain. Because now all they want is you. All they can think about is you. And I feel like you're just done. Okay, what else can you show me for, for this person? Yeah, a tower. Tower moment. Listening to other people. Knight of Swords kind of energy, right? The things that people tell them is leading to a tower for them. And here you are, I feel like you're the strong one. You can stand on your own. You don't listen to the opinions of others. You listen to the divine. Because see, that cup there, especially with the cross on top, that stands for your spirituality, okay? You could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly Leo, heavy on Cancer right now for you. <coughs> um yeah you're very spiritual you are listening to the divine you are tapped in and that's the only the only one you need to listen to is god i feel like you pay attention to the messages you're getting you're using your discernment your intuition here you've got the best love of all out of all the queens in the deck your mo stands for love and you're standing in your strength like you're like, yep, I'm, I listen to the divine. I listen to the messages from the divine. I'm extremely intuitive. I'm an empath. And you're standing firm in that. You've got this firm, solid belief that you're being led by the divine. And I feel like you are. You're being led forward into a victory, a lot of abundance here, happy family life. But your person's having a tower moment because they're listening to other people, lies and betrayal from other people, and they just keep doing what other people tell them. It always leads them in the wrong direction. Yeah, I feel like they're watching you, Collective. That's really what I'm feeling like here. They're watching you, and they're watching you be happy. They're seeing you out here winning having that victory, being the strongest person they know. Because you know what? 
if somebody comes to you and says you need to live your life this way, that way, you're going to say, um, no, actually, I'm going to wait for the divine to give me directions. Okay, you're listening, they're not. But now this person, they're watching you. They're hoping for an opportunity, I feel, to come forward and at least try and talk. You know, this is a, a small message, right? Like a text message, hey, can we talk? They're hoping, they're watching very closely to see if there's going to be an opportunity when they can talk to you. And you're easy to spot because you're out in the public eye. You're helping other people. I feel like this person feels like they need help, real help, from someone they can trust. They're, they have a lot of spiritual questions right now. They can see their life is, um, there's just blockages. This person is run up against like a brick wall here. They, they feel very stuck, and you have the answers, okay, because you're so tapped into the divine. So this person may need your help, okay? Um, and they're, they're hoping that they can see an opportunity where they can at least, you know, um, ask you if they can have a conversation. They're watching you. Um, but yeah, you're out here working for the divine. You're a spiritual healer, spiritual teacher, possibly on the web, the internet. Um, you could be another tarot card reader out here on YouTube, having um, a podium of your own showing others some direction with this journey with uh through heartache and betrayal you're healing other people okay so you're guiding them through it and um this person they may need your guidance they've gotten guidance from people they can't trust now they're starting to see the one that they can trust and they're hoping for a chance to talk all right, what else can you show me? So this person, I feel like they need your guidance. They need your help. But I feel like what you're going to tell them is you need to find your own answers through the divine, just like you did. I, I feel like you won't lead this person into trouble. You know what I mean? You just won't. Um. They, they, but they're allowing other people to do that. Yeah, you're the empress here. Whatever spiritual journey you're on, moving forward, receiving these messages, not only has the divine put you out in the public eye for all to see to help spread the word, right, and to help others, but it's making you extremely abundant as well. You're very knowledgeable. That's really what this card is. You had to learn every queen in the deck in order to reach the empress status. So you've been through the, the, um, the loving, nurturing stage and being um, disappointed and taken advantage of. You've been through the stage of um, heartache and being stabbed in the back and having to heal. Um, I feel like you are now, you know, you've been focused on the queen of coins energy, right? Building up your finances, focusing on you, your home, your family, and the things that you can nurture to grow. And now I feel like you're ready to take, um, like you're, it's almost like this feels to me like the queen of wands energy, taking, taking control of your own future. Um, moving forward and going after the life that you want. So you're very knowledgeable in this spiritual journey, okay? Because you've lived through it, you have experience. It, it was very difficult experience to learn. Um, so now I feel like this person trusts your opinion. They trust the messages that you get from the divine and your healing abilities. There's that this is they want to come to you for answers and help and advice. I feel because they're they it's like I don't know how to describe it. It's like this person can't stand on their own, they, they're not using their own intuition. Maybe they don't know how, you know, because they, they have this need to let other people lead their life for them. They've been listening to the wrong people, but the problem here is that they need to realize they have the tools themselves 
They have their own intuition. They have their own discernment. They just need to see and value the messages that they get. Um, and I feel like that may be the advice that you give this person, you know. Yeah, they, they want to reunite here. This person wants a new beginning with you. Okay, there's that Queen of Wands energy, I'm telling you, and the lovers, they choose you. This person's choosing you, and this could very well be um, a past life, deep level soulmate connection, okay? Um, but you could be dealing with a Gemini, or you could be a Gemini. I've got Aquarius, Taurus out here for you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be any of those signs, all right? But yeah, this person, now they want to reunite with you. They're realizing who they can trust and who they can't. That's what they're realizing, who they can trust and who they can't. But I feel like this is somebody that you're leaving behind because you've transformed. You're different now. You may feel differently about them. You have gone through your pain of the karma right and this this transformation they haven't yet they haven't realized that they have the power within themselves to change their life they still feel the need to take advice from everybody else all right yeah what did i say on the bottom of the deck there it is they have every tool they need with the magician to do it on their own to trust their intuition, to trust their discernment, right? And to manifest what they want with their life. You have the power to do it. They have the power to do it. I feel like that's what they need to realize is this right here. Because this is somebody who lets everybody else make their decisions for them in life. Yeah. And as soon as they figure out that they can... They have the tools to do this on their own. That's when the scales finally get balanced for them. Yeah. For whoever this is for. I don't I could be talking to a mass a divine masculine here. That would be your advice. Um you've got the tools. If if I'm talking to a divine masculine, you've got the tools. You've got everything at your fingertips. You've got what it takes to make your own decisions in life. All right. And I feel like there's definitely a masculine out here who um, wants a new beginning. They want a new beginning with you, Collective. Yeah, that was on the bottom of the deck. This person's coming forward. It's been a long time coming. Okay, this is the slowest moving night in the deck. But they're coming forward. They may even bring a gift for you. Um, yeah, they're about, they're about ready to come forward with an offer. Uh, listen, can we smooth this out, right? Is there any way that we can heal this? Um, yeah, but they're, they're coming too because you have all the answers and they trust your opinion, right? I feel like they do want to reunite, though. They do want this new beginning. So get ready. Yeah, this person's coming forward to apologize. They're coming forward to apologize to you. So get ready, collective, okay? Could be dealing with the Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, heavy on Virgo. So get ready, collective, because here this person comes. Listening to others have gotten them just one downfall after the next right one mistake after the next and now they know who they can trust and they're coming towards you all right anyway collective listen that's what i've got for this quick reading um i do hope this helps i hope it resonates um if you like this video don't forget to hit that uh, click that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe and you want to join this awesome soul tribe right and until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.